I, this is a response to, um, where's the video? The Project Gender video. Um, so, um, my name is Max, and, um, I have been, um, I'm FTM, transgendered person. Um, it's female to male. Um, and, um, I've been fortunate not to lose so far any family members because of this. Um, my family is relatively supportive. Um, even those who weren't supportive aren't, um, the sort of people who are going to turn me away, so I'm lucky there. But, um, I grew up in a really tiny town, and in my town, um, anyone who's not, uh, typical is, is looked down upon, I guess. Um, I've been out, so to speak, since I was in middle school, kind of forcibly, like, I didn't come out, but, uh, I was so weird that they had to make assumptions about what they thought they knew about me, and they were somewhat true-ish, so, um, so I was outed in middle school, so since then, um, you know, <laughs> um, it's one o'clock, sorry, my computer's crazy, um, <laughs> So, um, so I grew up in a small town, and I was out since middle school, and they, um, I had to deal with, like, a lot of harassment, um, by the other kids, um, my locker was written on all sorts of things, like Lesbo Dyke and all that sort of thing, I got into fist fights in gym class. Um, they told me people like me should be put into a still room and nuked. Um, they egged my van. Um, things like that. Um, and this is before I came out as trans. I didn't come out, I didn't come out as trans. Except for to a couple close friends until, um, I came to college because, um, <clears throat> because, uh, I mean, like, if they were reacting like that to me, um, knowing that I liked girls. What were they going to say? Uh, um, I mean, as it was, they, they questioned it a little bit, because, you know, I always played boys in the, boy parts in the school plays, and, um, I had short hair all through high school, and whatever. But, uh, for more or less, they didn't know how to take me, um, so they just harassed me, um, and it's hard because now that we're out of college, or now we're out of high school, uh, a couple people have contacted me since then and act like nothing ever happened, and it kind of pisses me off a little bit, because it's like, you know, you really destroyed my life, and now you're talking to me like nothing ever happened, um, but I can't wait till my 10 year reunion. And I come back with a whole, with a full beard and, you know, surprise. Um, so, I guess that's my story. Um, I mean, like, there's more, there's always, there's, I, I mean, I could go on forever, but, um, I don't like thinking about it, um. It was a hard time for me. Um, and so, I'm going to where I want to be. And, uh, I'm in a different place now. Uh, geographically and, um, in my life. So, um, I mean, there's still people around. There's still people who, who can't take it, but it, they're, they're, 
not as close to my proximity and they're not as important to me or they're not as um I can ignore them more easily because I don't see them all the time or something um, I still have to tell my father um, I'm sure he won't be pleased um, he's the one that I think will probably um, flip out but I haven't seen him for two years anyway I think he knows more or less uh, which is why we haven't talked he doesn't like me because I'm weird He's a weird kid. He doesn't like the rest of them either, I think, because they like me. I don't know why, but, um, I don't understand his reasons, but, uh, it's about the time I came out that he started, uh, stop talking to me or whatever. Um, so, <clears throat> that's my story. Um, and I hope to see other people's video responses to this this topic.